Okay, I will show you how you can use this cheap oscilloscope to record a signal which happens from time to time and to analyze it on screen. Uh, for this purpose, uh, the uh, oscilloscope be, will be in the default auto mode uh, and uh, I will use uh, this uh, re, uh, garage door remote uh, which starts generating signal as soon as I press this button here. So let's see what, what will uh, oscilloscope show when I press the, this button um, on, on screen. And as you can see now, this is not so good. We, we need to zoom out on this axis and we also need to zoom out the time base. Okay, this, this looks a bit better. As we can see, uh, the waveform is traveling across the screen and as soon as I let go of the button, the, uh, the signal is removed from the screen. This is because in auto mode, uh, the signal is uh, analyzed and displayed in real time on screen, meaning that if there is no signal here, no signal will be displayed on screen. We need to change this by pressing the signal, signal button. Signal button uh, means that uh, the oscilloscope will record the signal and leave it uh, static on the screen for us to analyze. So now let's press the button on the uh, car, uh, um, remote. Okay, now we can see that uh, when I let go of the, the button, the waveform is still displayed on screen. And now we can go and we can, we can analyze this, this waveform. Uh, we can use this time-based button to zo zoom in and to, to see what the waveform looks like from close up. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot zoom in this axis, uh, so we need to uh, make sure that this is set properly before the single mode is activated. And this is it.